Today's all about advanced level cook systems, like super advanced level cook systems to hang pots and just to hang a pot. But it's fun. <laughs> So who doesn't love to eat when they're in the woods and then if you bushcraft and that helps you get to that final delicious meal, all the better. Now today, we're gonna to be working on a cook system. It is a little bit complicated. It is one of those systems that you gotta play around with. It's gonna take some time. You need some special tools. You gotta to look around for the right branches. Um, and once it all comes together, it's like a work of art, okay? So it's not something down and dirty quick. It's not the good old tripod or Kepar cook system with the two uprights and a cross member. No, no, no. This one's a little bit more complex for all you crazy bushcrafters out there. So what you're gonna need is some rope, you are gonna need a drilling tool. I have a gimlet here, and you're gonna need a way to cut some branches. I have a folding saw in my pocket today. If you have this stuff, um, it'll be good. We gotta go find the sticks now we need. We need two of them. As far as sticks go, one straight stick, about thumb-sized, and then one Y branch, about thumb-sized also. Now this one is somewhat important. You wanna make sure that coming off the Y, and it can be either this style Y where it actually splits or a straight with a piece that comes out this way. Either one will work. Um, you wanna make sure it is somewhat straight though. This has a little bit of bend to it. Um, the straighter, the better. Length of both of these is about two foot. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but uh, about two foot in length. Now you're gonna get a two for one deal today in this video, okay? Um, we need to find the center point, not counting the Y. So from the end of the Y right here to this end, we need to find the center point. Easiest way to do that is take a piece of string and go and measure out the length and then fold that in half. And voila, you have a bushcraft tape measure. <laughs> you don't even need to add to do this, okay? So if you're bad at adding, um, there you go. Okay, so you're gonna find that center point. Once you find that center point, all right, what you wanna do is you're gonna take your knife and you are going to carve two flats on each side. Now it's important where you carve these flats. If you notice here, my Y is facing down, I would say. This would be my Y facing up. So my Y facing down, okay, should be the position and then I'm gonna carve on each side. Okay, so if I would stand it this way, where my Y's are out, that would be the side I'm carving. And what I mean by carving is I'm literally just gonna just make it flat because we are going to drill a hole with our gimlet in that area, okay? I guess you don't have to do this, but I think that it makes it a little bit easier with that gimlet coming through um, to do this. So I'm gonna do it, all right? Okay, so I put my straight stick into the ground. Again, you could vary all these sizes. You just gotta play with the adjustments here then. The next thing that I've done is I put my piece of rope through our hole, okay, on our Y branch. Now, I suggest while you do this, have your knife or your saw available. A saw is a little bit easier once the stuff's in place, but you can easily do this with a knife also. And if you're really good, you can do it with an ax. What we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna place the Y branch, okay, onto our upright, and then we are going to level it out. So we're gonna take our string back this way, and I'll turn this so you can see it. I need to find that level point. Then I'm gonna come up with the front end of this where my hand is tapping now, about an inch, because remember there's gonna be some weight on here. You might get a little stretch with your line. I'm gonna pull that off, and I am going to knot it. Now, at the top of the inserted stick, I would highly recommend that you take your saw and you give it a couple little notches there just to catch that twine so it's not flying all over the place or up and down. So cut that in there. And now, we're gonna give it a double check. So I wanna make sure everything lines up here, that it falls in place. So far, so good. Now, remember, there's gonna be weight on this in this section right here. So, what we wanna also do, because our kettle is gonna be out here, is we're gonna create a notch on the end so our kettle doesn't slide around. So 
So Y branch tensioning in against our upright, rope holding it in place, and then our kettle goes on over that with our fire underneath. Very cool, very engineered bushcraft type setup um, just to get the job done. Something fun to play with while you're out here. Ah, such fun stuff, such cool stuff. I, I love this, I love it. I love this stuff. <laughs> That's probably the best way to put it. This is more of a fun afternoon type project to get your pot over the fire. Yeah, you can slide your pot in and, and bypass all this, but bushcrafting's all about coming out here, using your tools, having a good time, and this is like it. This is what it's all about. So give this one a shot, experiment, find some new little things that you can add to this system to even make it better, and um, just grow from there with it. And in worst case, hey, another tool for the toolbox. When you need it, you got it. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was Dan Wolak with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. You can check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for our school and our merchandise, and uh, click below to subscribe, and then stay in the woods. Till the next video.